guys, what's up? It's Matt from Mechabyte.com. And really quick, what I'm going to be doing today is going ahead and showing you how you can jailbreak Apple's newest iOS 5. So right now, supported devices are everything that can run iOS 5, which is iPhone 3GS, 4, and that's including both Verizon and AT&T. Um, you can do the iPod Touch 4th generation and 3rd generation, and the iPad 1, but unfortunately, iPad 2 support is left out for now. So that's probably going to be coming out soon, but if you have an iPad 2, you're not going to be able to do this. Second off, this is a tethered jailbreak, so that means each time you reset your device, you will have to go ahead and plug it in your computer and run a short little command to make it actually be able to run your jailbroken apps. That does not mean every time you boot, you have to have it plugged in. That's just if you want to have your jailbroken stuff. So right now, all you have to have um, to be able to do this is actually a registered iPod or iPhone or iPod, <laughs> iPad. Sorry, I cannot speak right now. Um, and that's just because um, in, in actually order to be able to run the iOS 5 beta, you have to go ahead and have your device registered. So if you don't have your device registered, this isn't like a magic little trick that'll make it work for you. This is just if you already have it registered. So um, if you want to get the downloads for this, go ahead and follow the link in the description. It'll have everything you need. Uh, basically, all you have to have is the IPSW file that you downloaded from apple.com on the developer portal. You also have to have Red Snow, the newest version, which I'll have a link for. And you don't need that. That's just something that was on my desktop. So really quick, I'm just going to go ahead and open up Red Snow and uh, continue with this tutorial. So this is Red Snow 0.9.8 Beta 1. And uh, depending on when you watch this, there may, not, may or may not be a new one, but don't worry if it's newer because it'll still work. So all you have to do now is go ahead and browse to the IPSW, and I have mine located on my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and process the firmware. So it says IPSW successfully identified, which is the green light. So let's go ahead and click next. And right now it's processing all the um, stuff so it can go ahead and make like an actual jailbreak image for us. So we want to install Cydia. Um, custom bundle, we don't really need that. Uh, we don't need a pwn DFU, meet, DFU mode either. And we're, we're not trying to boot tethered. We're actually trying to install Cydia. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So make sure your device is both off and plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my iPod. And just to show you guys, this actually is running iOS 5. I'll go ahead and settings. And right now it is running beta 1, which is uh, the newest one at the moment. So version 5.0. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this off. All right, so it says now, um, make sure your device is plugged into the computer, which it is, it's plugged into a dock. Then we have to hold down the power button until slide to power off appears, we did that. And so our device is both plugged in and powered off. So now we're gonna hold down the power button for three seconds. And then hold down the home button as well. So we're doing that. And what we're doing now is we're actually putting it in DFU mode. So release the power button, but keep holding the home button. So I got that happening too. All right, so now it's exploiting it with Lime Rain. And right now, our part's done, really. Um, all it is now is just the computer actually injecting the jailbreak code. And you see right here on the screen, it actually says downloading jailbreak data. So now we're just going to wait. If you see all that code, don't get scared. Um, it's actually just doing the jailbreak. Don't freak out. And if at any point you actually want to go ahead and get rid of this, all you have to do is just plug it into iTunes and do a shift restore or alt restore, um, whichever machine you're using, and just uh, restore it back to that firmware that you have right here that you just used to jailbreak it with. So this will get you back to default. And right now, again, we're just waiting for the iPod to go ahead and finish jailbreaking. All right, so it's moving applications. All right, so just went ahead and finished up. And uh, the part that probably took the longest was the moving applications part, but then after that, all it did was install bundles. And now it's rebooting right now. So what it says right here is that even though we just applied the jailbreak, we have to rerun Red Snow and boot it tethered. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish. I'm going to open it up again. It 
So we're going to go ahead and rebrowse for that software. And it's going to process it again. Uh, it's successfully identified, so it's going to go ahead and process that. And while it's actually loading right here, I'm going to go ahead and turn my iPod off so we can go ahead and boot it tethered so we can actually get all the jailbreak stuff. So we can uncheck install Cydia. And actually, all we have to check is just boot tethered right now. So click next. And here we're getting ready to do DFU mode again. So I'm going to hit next. Hold the power button down for three seconds. And then hold both down for 10 seconds. And then release the power button. And then keep holding it down, and I'll go ahead and flash. All right, so now it's booting tethered, and we should be able to use Cydia. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. All right, so there we go. It just started up. And let's go ahead and try out Cydia. All right, slide to unlock. So here we go, there's Cydia right there. And just to prove you guys, again, this is on iOS 5. I didn't cut the video or anything. But let's go to General, About, scroll down, right there, version 5.0. So enjoy using Cydia on your iOS 5 device. Um, this is probably going to be available throughout the betas. Um, by the time the actual Golden Master is released, Apple may or may not have patched this. But it's gonna be fun while it lasts. So I'm a user. Let's just go ahead and set this up really quick. So there we go, guys. The working Cydia on iOS 5. If you like this video, you can go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can also like it. And basically, what that does, it really helps me out. It helps other people on your on your recent friends and stuff um, on your friends list. It helps them go ahead and see the activity, and it also helps it appear higher in search results. So if this video did help you out, go ahead and leave me a like. And if you're interested in iOS 5. Um, you can go ahead and subscribe because I'm going to be keeping you guys updated with all the beta releases and jailbreaks as they are released. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.